Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Yas Heat Lab Guides. My name is Sir Fasha. Today we are driving the Lamborghini Huracan Evo 2 on uh, my least favorite track in the Sim uh, Zolder. Well, the track would be fine, but the AC way of driving it is quite criminal, uh, as basically you kind of roll dice every lap on how your chicane is gonna go, so I try to avoid as far much as possible to not drive here, but for this video I did suffer through some of this to um, to get something that somewhat works here. Definitely not my strongest tracks, as uh, generally you don't tend to be too good at things that you don't like, and this is definitely the case here, but uh, uh, either way, very tight track. Um, other than the first chicane, it's actually not so bad. Um, pretty rough racing here though, as uh, the track is very narrow, uh, not a lot of uh, straights, so it is pretty rough to race here, but uh, the driving experience would not be the worst. Uh, some corners are quite technical, but the chicane really ruins it for me. Um, and it also brings in quite a lot of sacrifices you need to make in the setup to make the car less pleasant to drive everywhere else just to be able to take the chicane properly but let's talk about braking references so turn one rubber line starts braking a bit over car length maybe after the rubber line starts here there's a little rubbery uh, patch sticking out on the left side that's roughly where we brake keep the car in third gear can use all of the runoff there uh, here the braking point is about the side road on the left side third gear Make sure not to go in the gravel on the outside, as it makes uh, your life very difficult. And for the chicane, we're looking at the little bunch of dust on the right side. Kind of tricky to spot in the beginning, but once you do, it's pretty obvious. And for the second chicane, we're braking just before the rubber line starts. You can cut a lot here, as long as two wheels are on the red curb, you are fine. A little lift for that corner and this should be flat out and then for the next uh, tight corner we are braking a tiny bit after the rubber line starts ideally avoid the inside curb as it's uh, cambered in a way uh, that uh, takes away some traction so you generally get a worse exit if you go on to that and here we're using once again lighter patches of uh, dust or gravel on the right side of the road and that is the lap, uh, a way lap guide of a uh, solder. Quite tricky, especially when the track conditions change, uh, as a lot of these rubber lines will be hidden. But uh, once again, I don't drive this much if I can help it. So, so here is when I cooked up quite a bit of negative toe, as we kind of have to get some rotation back from all the compromises we made. TC1 feels relatively comfortable. The car is mostly compliant on throttle, so you don't need to worry about it. Maybe it could run zero, but I don't uh, mess with that too much, which also doesn't really help the lap time. So here's our mechanical, uh, very soft rear as per usual. Stiff roll wash, quite a lot of preload to prevent the car from going too crazy on the landing with the uh, the diff not being locked. Damper wise, uh, quite stiff fast dampers for the chicane, same with the, the regular dampers as well, quite stiff generally as uh, running soft dampers here will just make the car bottom out and rebound multiple times, which is something you really want to avoid. And aero-wise, this is the biggest sacrifice, 62 millimeters on the front, uh, maybe a bit overkill, but uh, even with this, if you take the chicane wrong, you are going into the wall. Uh, a tip to avoid going into the wall. If you know you're gonna have some crazy bounces, just let go of the throttle and try to steer out of trouble. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the setup I came up with. Uh, not my, one of my best works, but uh, there's definitely some more lap time in that, uh, in that hot lap that we're about to see. But uh, yeah, I hope uh, this is useful for whoever wants to drive this track. Uh, I definitely don't. And uh, yeah, I'll leave you with a hot lap and see you on the next one.